right, guys, here we go. COSM Monday. Let's talk about the 13% that's just uh, coming in on the short interest. I want to talk about why that's kind of, it's probably not even accurate, even though that one came in. It's definitely not a thousand though. Let's get that out of your heads like really, really quick. Um, look at the cost to borrow. It's nearing 300%. Look at the failures to deliver and the fact that we're on the threshold list. Um, those are all phenomenal signs. And that kind of all leads to that the um, SI could be more around 30%. I would guess and say we're up near probably 25 to 30%, which is an amazing short squeeze play. I don't like dishing out fake news. I never liked that 1300%. I, ne I damn sure don't like the two, uh, 2000 rumor that's going around. And uh, I just watched a Tony De Niro video. He's spot on. When somebody's just writing bullshit down on a sheet of fucking paper, taking a picture of it and sending it around, you buy that shit? I wouldn't buy none of that fucking bullshit. None of it. You have to question everything, guys. And like Tony said, if you see 20 sources giving you one number and then some douchebag on Twitter is giving you a completely different fucking number, something's up with that douchebag motherfucker and you should unfriend him, never go back to his fucking channel, his site, Twitter, whatever the fuck this guy's trying to sell you. Don't go back, okay? He's fucking you with misinformation. So the cost to borrow, 300%. Failures to deliver. Threshold list. Guys, that tells you now it's mandatory. They have X amount of days that they have to absolutely cover these failures to fucking deliver. Why do they have the FTDs in the first place? And what goes beyond the FTDs? Naked shorting. We've been experiencing it now past two weeks straight. So yes, this is a great short squeeze play. AMC at the prime was what, guys? 24 to 25? I forget. Short interest. Um, and everybody just hopped in that bandwagon. So we're probably around 25 to 30 with this play. Yeah, anything over 10 is still a phenomenal short squeeze play. And um, here's the thing. We got Rocco doing an interview with the CEO, which uh, he's more than welcome to do an interview with me too. Rocco, you better kill it, brother. Get it, man. Penetrate all the questions that are going to get this ticker over a dollar. Because I would. Good luck, Rocco. Good luck with that. And uh, Frank, if you're watching this video, tell the CEO I'd love to do a telephone uh, call interview there won't be any cussing be very professional i'll record the entire thing and i will ask all the questions to push cosm over a buck that's right when the interview is finished cosm is gonna rock it because i know the questions to ask and i'm in there's no fear a lot of people fear these ceos i don't i'm on the same page with them and i know exactly what to ask them i know what retail needs to hear i know the questions that need to be answered i know what i want to hear so and i'm an investor guys you already know when i go in Every day, I'm 60,000 shares, 70,000 shares with this stock. I'm invested heavy, and uh, I think that's important. If you're going to be doing videos, YouTube videos, you should be in the ticker. You shouldn't just be doing videos to talk about this shit. You should actually be invested in the stock, which I am. So come Monday, where do I see this thing going? I, it's a great momentum play, guys. There's a ton of hype behind this, and everybody wants to see the CEO succeed, including me. So at some point, she's going over a dollar. There's absolutely no doubt in my mind that this stock is going over a dollar, and it's got the momentum to hit it next week. So that's my prediction. CEO SM will probably smash $1 next week. If you guys are in, you're in a uh, momentum play. Just make sure you understand that. Once it's over $1, though, the whales are going to slam this momentum play and it's going to become, you know, a whale play. Once those guys hit, then it goes to like two, three, four, five dollars. You got to get it over the $1 point, though. The whales don't want to play with it until it's over a buck, until it's guaranteed, until the success on NASDAQ is guaranteed. A whale isn't going to hop on this thing if they know a reverse split is coming. Just saying. Nobody said one is coming, but it's in the back of everybody's minds, and that's why the whales aren't jumping on it yet. Once it hits a buck, kiss it goodbye, guys. If you're in it, when it hits the buck, yeah, you got a lot of money, okay? You're sitting on a shit ton of money. If you're in the play, if you are holding, and it hits the dollar, it takes off. Because of what I just said, whales start jumping on it. All right, guys, that's it. So COSM Monday. A lot of momentum coming in, but always remember, as soon as the market opens, so you got pre-market, you got that hysteria, market opens, she rockets, but then there's usually that sell-off. So anybody wanting to enter, you have to be careful within that first 30 minutes. It's where the most amount of chaos is in, the, in that 30 minutes, and there could be a large sell-off. There could be a 12 cent sell-off. Sometimes that happens, but then it what? It retraces. Just be patient. If you're already in, don't freak. This thing's probably hitting a dollar soon. Not financial advice. Of course, there's a lot of plays out there, guys. COSM is just one of the hottest right now. It's uh, 
number one across the board. It might be number two on a couple different uh, apps or whatever. But uh, from what I'm seeing, it's the most talked about ticker. It's the most talked about squeeze play everywhere. So that's it. COSM Monday, guys. Y'all have an awesome night. Time to go watch a movie. Shaboom. Peace.